what's up team welcome back to j3 entertainment you guys know what time it is it's time to react come on now yes it is brother. Yeah. and what we're reacting to today every ultraman intro 1966 to 2003 part two <laughs> yes. part two baby we back y'all we back part one was one hell of a ride it was you know what i'm saying i want those shows I want to watch those shows. I want those collectibles. <laughs> I want man. those collectibles. What's up with that box set? Yeah, it was really cool watching it, man. Just getting into it, getting into the vibe of it. It was really, I can say, like, uh, adventure. Okay. You know what I mean? The journey, the adventure. Not wrong about that. Seeing the, mis the mystery of the introduction, bringing them to the table. Made me really want to watch it. He was very mystique. Like, yeah. they did a good job of keeping them hidden through the intro and stuff. But we got the formation, um, the moves. Everyday. That was cool, though. And uh, good news on the update. I did find those uh, those collections. They're on Amazon. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. So you can get them like individually or box sets. So. Okay. It's time to go to work. Well, go ahead and get it. You know yeah. what I mean? So I can watch it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. With that, let's get into this let's part two. Ultraman. All right. You, re you ready? I'm ready, bro. We're going to start this thing Please. right. Please. <laughs> start it right now. And for the Americans, let's samurai, guys. <laughs> どんなに苦しい時でも決して忘れてはいけない。I love the fact they kept that same energy with all the ocean. Yeah. Fun camp. That kid's had it good in Japan, bro. That's crazy. Ooh. Weapons now, bro. Let's go. Is that the curve blade? <laughs> yeah. Dream Fighter. It's like a video game. Mm-hmm. Rich suiting. Oh. I like the fact that they use the forearm as a beam. Yeah. That, that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, yeah. space between like more yo. damage. Yeah. Them jump kicks be lethal, bro. Ultraman for Halloween. <laughs> Dang. Sam Collins. I'm got years of bodies on his hands. Yeah. So on bro. Oh, yeah. Seen all and been through all. And it's crazy, like all them generations, like he's able to maintain that fighting physique, though. Like he's like stock. You know I wonder. I, mean? I wonder if the the Ultraman with the beard. I wonder if he's the first one. Possibly. Y'all know. Forearms ain't no joke. Yeah. 
steal. Even though it's kind of like you can hardly see it, you can still see it. He shines so bright. You can feel it. It's cool because you can kind of enjoy the music part, you know? Absolutely. The music is just doing all the heavy lifting, which is great. Yeah. Somebody can get those hands just down. <laughs> I can't get over it. Man. That's great. I love the cheddar. I, I do. Love cheddar. I love that, that makes me happy. It does. It ain't Ultraman without the cheese. And you're going to get your gritty and stuff every now and then. Though. When they start doing elbow drops and DDTs, <laughs> it's like, hey, it's a win. Have you ever watched that Wayne Brother episode, like first season, when uh, when uh, Marlon was dressed up like a roach? Yes. And he went to the birthday party just for Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like that. <laughs> oh, nice designs. Ultra, Ultra fly. fly. <laughs> He's a pimp. You know, I have a pimp hat. <laughs> Ultra fly. I like it. I like it. Superfly's international cousin. From another mother. He's moving on now. Oh, yeah, oh, this, yeah that one that right there. Formation, bro. That's the one. I love this. Yeah. That's great. And the fact they're able to move in them suits, man. Yeah, they, they're able to fill those physiques, them fighting physiques. So is Ocean Man just a man in a suit, or is he an intergalactic being? I think there's different iterations where it's sometimes both. Sometimes it's one with the suit, and then sometimes there's a man in there. Because in the other trailers or introductions we were watching, they show him like transform. Transforming. But in like officers and stuff. He just a suit. He just a suit. And that's why I said that's the mystique part. So it, it changes because there's obviously more than one. Yeah, like so, are they yeah. calling on this character to come? Yeah. Like how many stories of Ultraman is it, you know? I want to know. Put a comment. I think it'd be dope if it was like a mix, like where there's some where there actually is an uh, actual Ultraman or someone that's summoning them. Yeah. Like, I'll take both. And he's actually on another yeah. planet or something doing his thing. Yeah. You know, and they call for him. Because the way I remember it, he was always in the suit. I've never seen him like outside the suit. I, that's just what I remember. But I like that we get this though. And who taught on martial arts? No. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, that'd be a type of... His master. Where's that story? It's tight, it's tight because you can able, like... He said, who taught on martial arts? <laughs> Ultra man, you, can, you guys can all come I want together. a 10-episode series of that. Who taught him? Leading into a movie. Ultra skills. He thought you knew the story. From the makers of the ring, Ultra skills. Star Nico. Oh, done. Designs on a thousand. Yeah, I like, I like Man. This is making me want to go back and revisit the Netflix uh, Ultimate series. Oh my god. Really good stuff. Nice. Legend of Galaxy. Red suit. Galaxy champion. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, spine coming out. That's sick. Damn. Oh my god. We got personality in there. Yeah. 
Man, monsters know martial arts, bro. <laughs> I'll take it. That's a little straight Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I need this on the big screen, like so y'all know what that means. So I obviously let me know they're smarter than they than right. to be. Yeah, right. Man, how tight would it be to see this on the big screen, bro? I think so. Crazy. Or Adobe Cinema? Oh man, with all this effects and stuff. The sound. Woo! Optic Blast. Get oh, <laughs> that takedown. Y'all saw that judo flip? Man. Ultra Brave. Daigo and Takami. Feel the power. Oh, great shot. I like that. It, it reminded, <laughs> that's what reminded me of uh, Sammy. Yeah, yeah. When she yeah. get out the suit. That's sleep. That's sleep. Get your ass on. Dang, he shot him in the neck. <laughs> that monster don't deserve that abuse. <laughs> From the back. So you feel it. That forearm, I understand that. Dang. Like, nah, nah, let's jump this way. Oh. Okay. That's a lot of imagination. That's what I'm talking about. Sparkling future. <laughs> Galaxy of dreams. Yeah. Oh, Ultraman fights like no other. To the death, every time. 1966. Yeah. You get that blood, sweat, tears, and you get the ah, yeah. When it gets hit and hurt, like you feel it. Hell yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh, oh those are old footage. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Something like a. Uh, a special or something like an anniversary kind of thing yeah or okay, like a it. legacy story yeah but they revert back to the original love it design oh nice 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 that guyver kick work. He tossed the crap out of him. Yeah. They gave us a light on that one. Song of Ultraman. Ginga. Oh, that's a great shot. Look what we, look what we had all made. That's the coast of Ultraman watching the sunset. So it was a person that got turned back. Yeah. yeah. So I guess there's some that's human transformation and there's some that's just fully cosmic and alien. Mm -hmm. I like that though. Because it brings a little mystique to the mythos too. Like depending on what Ultraman you follow. I like that. Bruh. Damn. <laughs> like get right. That's cool. Oh, I like that 
like flying in, like. Yeah. I love that, that slow mo where it's like a bomb goes off and they jump into the screen. Ah! Always great. It's for the power. Yeah. I like that. That his helmet on that one was cool. Very cool. Yeah. Voyager, Kiyotaka, Uji, Tayuka. Dang. Big ass hand. Got the Hellboy hand. Yeah, I was just about to say <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. They're playing our song. <laughs> Rob Pro. No. Wow. Yo, that's crazy. Oh, oh, Ooh. nice. You got that shutter look. You see that shutter design? Yet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got real. Oh. Man. Yeah. Ultraman X. X. That's a lot of Ultraman. Mm hmm. Previously on X. Doing great Tag team. Let's go. Love it. The monster was like, maybe at the two daggers? Oh, snap. Yo. Use the shield as a projector. Oh. Very nice. Unite to connect with you. Flexing that cinematography. Shout out to the DP. Man, that's crazy. Stage props. It's crazy, man. Yeah. That's even a whole city. Yeah, really, yeah. really impressive. I like the fact they kept that original, though. Yeah. Like, don't, don't, yeah. don't try to fix what ain't broke. You know? the battle scene's got to stick out. So Our fans like it. That's traditional. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Of the war. <laughs> they should have did something like this when it came to uh, Pacific Rim. Oh, yeah. Instead, instead of the, uh, what's the robot called? The, the Jagers. Jagers, yeah. yeah. They had yeah. Span That would have been cool.
Del Toro know how to bring that anime to life, though. Mm -hmm. He really did. I can see him doing an Ultraman type of project. For real, though, because with the monsters and everything, that's right up his alley. Yeah. You're going to see practical, too. The question is, are the fans going to allow Hollywood to touch you? Probably not. That's it. Yes, it's sacred. It's sacred. It's, it's, a, it's a tricky topic. Spielberg did put a gun to him Ready Player One. <laughs> oh no! And we, we was like, oh, oh, Spielberg. Hey, hey, he did. Yeah, and it was beautiful. He like, did. Yeah. We saw a Gundam in an Amblin Entertainment movie. Never thought I was gonna see that. Oh, really great shot. So he just stand there and just take that punch. Yeah. Or maybe that was the plan all along. Flexing on a fool. <laughs> take his you know energy. I mean? <laughs> Look at that one right there. Those two on the corner of the tank. I like the armor. Chronicle. Forward. Ultraman Zero. Go ahead. Okay. The flying is tight. The cosmic story. Chronicle. Different universes, I would assume. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Oh, no, G, because we're in the beginning. So this must be a collaboration. Okay. Because I remember that shot. Yeah, they all teaming up or something. さいこの優しさこそ愛さ自分を知った戸惑いや嘘べにも向き合うことで本当の強さへ知っていない成功なんてないさだから食べ合わず See? Okay. Yeah. So I think it's a collaboration with those characters. Team up event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Prayer for Orb. Yeah, okay. Earth and stuff, so they show up. Ultraman would have been tight, you know, uh, uh, Ready Player One. Absolutely. Absolutely. That would have been tight. And I, I'm wondering, because I've read the book some, so I'm pretty sure he was still in there. And they probably didn't have the ownership. Maybe they can do it in the sequel now. Some the stuff that they weren't allowed to do in part one. So, yeah, you on the side. Because if you bring in, you bring in Godzilla and Kong, yeah. you got to have an ultra man. Yeah. I mean, you can put the uh, uh, Megazord power gear. That'd be great. That'd be tight. Throw the Knight Rider car in there because Kid wasn't in part one. In there. He definitely wasn't there. The Knight Rider car was in there. The Cure car was. The Cure bike was. The Knight Rider car was in there? During the race in the beginning? Or was it the DeLorean was there? The DeLorean. Back, Back to the Future was there. They didn't show Kid. The DeLorean. Yep, my bad. <laughs> Welcome to AMC. <laughs> and 
don't know. Great. No. Dropkick shit out of here. Nobody does dropkicks like Ultra. And the flying jump kicks. Oh my god. Love it. They yeah, won't do that no more. <laughs> Put that knee into it when he go over, then extend. Yeah, yeah. that's the unbox. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Marvel's Capcom. Like a damn music video. Sequel to Tatsunoko vs. Capcom 2, they have to throw Ocean Man in there. Yeah. There's a lot of like anime haters. That'd be sick. Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> stars. Stars. New generation. Ultra Mix. Like this. Yeah. Oh, that's poster right there. I like the beginning of that piano was hit. Oh yeah, that was fire. Additional orchestra instrument with a little modernness. I like him up there, bro. Hey, that's my Scarlet Spider colors. I'm there. <laughs> there it is. I'm there. Science Patrol. 1969. Let's back. take it back one time. Ultra 7. Here we go. What's up with the Ultraman with the eyes? Like, the pupils. I'm not sure. Well, that's always be been like a thing. Man. Yeah, that's always been a big factor. What the hell, man? So I think in the beginning, in part one of this, those were like the movies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But a lot of it skipped. It was like, yo, these mm -hmm. long they they went uh, backward and then they went forward. Yeah. Hanuman versus Ultra Seven Man. There we go. Let's get it. Tonight's presentation. Ultra Seven. The Golden Age narrations, starring. Hanuman, Chan Samon, Sabi Wanon, Rum Rahon Kaya. It's like that new updated rap. Mahop, Jet Yard Manut, Boo Utalut, Lit Dead Decha. ปราดปลาดราวิคุณกบีให้แสนโคตรค่ะฮะนุมานไม่มีวันตายถูกพอประบายบัดฟื้นชีวาโอเคโอเคพลังช่างมหาศาลเนื้อจักรวาลและวั
Nice. Over here, I want to do a flip now. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I got a problem with you. Oh, yeah. hold on, hold, hold him down for me. Hold him down for me. <laughs> what the? Oh, shoot. He ran. Oh, it's that. Take this rock. Side. They're playing. <laughs> oh my God! You got children out here. Like me messed up. That was hilarious. No remorse. They didn't even give us a gear on this one. Say All good right. luck. I would assume probably like 2000. 2005. Yeah. Monster got mad. I love the personality of these creatures. Oh, yeah. We got some for you. You're a kid, you got some for the teenager, you got some for the girl. Everybody has something. That's great. They just roll off the tongue like the end of the Yeah. Cosmos Adventure. 30 million light years. Mega Man vibe.
I watched this when I was a kid. Yeah. I just want to know what the adventures are about. Is it educational? What they tell you the ABCs? Right. We're actually going on a journey, you know? So much happening. Hey, that would be dope, though. Learning ABCs and then go right on an adventure. We're about to fight crime. A for y'all. ass whooping. You're right. <laughs> B for back it up. F for fight. B for catch these spades. Yep. <laughs> yeah. D for don't push me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's creative. Man, I missed out like this. I never heard of this. And they still managed to keep it traditional, even in animated form, which is crazy. Same monsters, yeah. Art's pretty uh, solid. Like, mm-hmm. I got it. Stand back. Yeah. Nice. The whole family. Mm-hmm. Ultra kids. Super fighter Ultraman. Okay. Ninety-six. That era of the fighting game craze. Okay. All right. Let's see what y'all got. Get the tournament. Yeah. Let's get it. Ultra Fighter. Choose your character. <laughs> Z. Gaia. Take it back one time. The 90s anime art. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm digging that. Nothing like it. Try his angel right there. Y'all yeah, killing with this creativity. Man. This is this is wild. Getting that. <laughs> yeah. Passion. It was there. Yeah. Okay. Ultra Mambo. Woo. Peekaboo. Some Muppets, right? They had everything. Yeah, it's choir. That's cool. So, you know, it's, it's just crazy. There's so much content in this world. It's a lot to consume. Absolutely. Bro, like, if I was to go, you know, just wanted to take a, a leave from the world. Yeah. 20 years, man, come back a whole. The whole new save. Oh, yeah. I've watched it all. The ultimate great great grandfather. We've got stories. I was there for everything. (laughs) Back in my day, Ultraman.
That's how it should be, though, man. Like, somebody to live to tell the tale. What was it like, Granddad? What What was your Ultraman like? Well, that's what uh, uh, Jack Jack Reacher said. Yeah. See, I'm going to break all your hands. What about one? Somebody got to go to the hospital. <laughs> oh, Somebody got to live to tell. Love the dramatic drama. Love that. Give me that power set, bro. I just love imagination, man. Yeah. And seeing it come together, you know? I would do that like, uh, I would redo this in America and do it like a Masterpiece Theater for PBS. That late night prime time, I don't think we've had that in a long time. Yeah. Let us see. Special presentation. Tonight, Ultraman. That's the music, right? That's it. All the way. And let me know in the comment section, man, has Ultraman ever uh, uh, dipped in any other franchises like Kamen Rider or the Sentai's? That's a good question. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or the Metal Heroes, Godzilla. I would have to assume, though, at some point it did. Rush, Ultra Frontier. We see it right here in Jump. Oh, there it is right there. Yep, yep. <laughs> Special guest. Fighting game title card, I like that. Ooh. What is that? Some CG round, okay. That's pretty dope. It's kind of this, this style looks more like Common Rider. Yeah. Core fade. Mm. Old Codex. This looks cool. Yeah, this is this is okay. This is stuff I watched right here. This is the Netflix one. Let's get it. I like transformation. Huh? This was a fire series. They had uh, they did their finale already. Mm. I like you got an Iron Man style too. Yeah. <laughs> Memory. A lot of suits look tight and it. I gotta go on my Ultraman kick now. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh my god. Magic. Yeah. 
was cold. Three Noyan, season two. Yep. <laughs> Do this Ultraman live action, this style. Absolutely. It is possible. Yeah. Yeah. That fine line between animation and CG. We've seen it done before. We, we missing out over here in America. Man. Shout out to Netflix though. Keeping the anime alive. Yeah. That breakdown. This path begins upon the Dope. That was tight. That was tight. Raise. I like the energy. Season three. That had a lot of energy in it. Resurrection. Oh yeah, I told you, man. This is a Netflix joint. Yeah, they went hard. Yo. Dub versions. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. Ultraman. English dub. 1967. I like English dub, y'all. Make me Tarantino. That'd be crazy. But that Kill so. Bill style? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That would be crazy. Heroes in Love. Starring Sam Jackson. I told you he, we need his help. We need Ultraman. Please. Please. <laughs> Teaser trailer. That's all we need. You think you're the only Ultraman in this universe? Oh, <laughs> Jules Winfield. 
he returns as the narrator. Just have him be the narrator. This is the story of Mother Ultra Man. We'll play Ultra Man. Uh, uh, Chris Evans. <laughs> I'll take it. Or uh, what, what's Star Lord name? Uh, uh, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. That'd be fun to watch. That'd be fun. That would be a pretty crazy. Chris Evans as Ultra Man. Bring that swag from Captain America and uh, the Great Man. Oh, we good. He was tight, the Great Man. Starring Ryan Gosling. Man. And Chris Evans. That's the Ultra Man. Saviors of the Universe. Theme song of Ultra 7. 85. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Gojira. Ultra 7. Somewhere under the water. Far among the galaxy. Sitcom feel. Searching for the facts of life. Ultra Man. I figured it out, guys. So that's what we're gonna call it. In America, we're gonna call it the Ultra Band. And every every iteration, we have a different band member come in to the music called the Ultra Band. Ultra Man Tiga can't do it alone. He needs your help. Fighting for you is my job, Ultraman. <laughs> I like that. Larger than life, Ultraman. True fighter. J pop, baby. talking about yeah, now or never true. the destined crossroads that's not like final chapter ultra gallery
Yeah. Mm. Main titles. Space War. Seven part two. <laughs> ah, I can seven, feel it. Seven. 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 Put a little twist on that one. Yeah. Little Hawaii Five O. seen the introduction like seven times this whole yeah, video no pun intended Jeez. fight ultraman the return this one too yeah they always sprinkle like little stuff here and there like the music cue will be different sometimes there'll be some scenes that'll be added i mean it's clear yeah wrong. but they did say english dub though yeah Oh, 
Extra age. Eight, seven, two. They got us bouncing all around. Yeah. Did we see this one? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine as a kid, like, oh my god, it's Ultra Man. He's here. Why, seven in the same introduction? Yeah. It's like that same time people saw George Reeves and Christopher Reeves being Superman for the first time. You will believe a man can fly. Like, that was impactful, man. So, that same thing here. It does hit different. Yeah. I think you know me. Man, Bible, like, yeah, I'm going down that rabbit hole, dude. Like, I'm into this. I'm into it. I want to see more. I want to read more. I want to watch more. I want to get some of this in America too. And uh, shout out to Netflix for the anime uh, that just ended. That series was fire. I want some more live action content, man. Like, I want to see more of that of what I've missed from what they've gotten in Japan, and it's graced us in America. Yeah, yeah. This is we all about the kaiju's and the monsters and mm-hmm. the tokusatsu. This is a breath of fresh air. It's always great to watch yourself. I love monsters. I love martial arts. I know you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is tight, man. Music uh, hit. Just culture experience, man. Because uh, I was biting my tongue from part one, part two, because I want to make sure I watch everything. Sure. I like Ultraman. I like I like what it brings to the table. You know, this started it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It started everything that we like, we enjoy. This was the, the, the grandfather of it, the foundation of it. Oh, yeah. Um. So I respect it. I love it. Um, I love the fact that it keeps the same originality all the way from 1966 to 2023. Yeah. It gives you what it is. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. There it is. This is what people like. People like it. Let's run it. Let's get more stories into it. Let's put more into it. I love everything about it. I love the introductions. It's just that the introductions were just introductions. Yeah. I wanted to feel the show. I wanted to get into it and buy the characters. Um, I understand that. I, I dig it. But I also, I, res- I like the fact that what they didn't want to change in uh, Ultraman, they incorporated in Common Rider. Yeah. So it was like, okay, this is Ultraman. But what if we do this? Let's not, let's not touch Ultraman. Let's make a new character. Let's do Common Rider. All right, this works. This works. All right, what about do this with Common Rider? Nah, I don't do that. 
Super Sentai. Yeah. Okay, okay. I like that. I yeah. like that. What if we made them like this? No, 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 no. Don't touch Ultraman. Don't touch Kamen Rider. Don't touch Sentai. Let's make Metal Heroes. Yeah. And it works. Yep, it balances itself out. And the crazy thing is, out of all three of those, all four of those franchises or those ideas, three of them are still still floating. Pretty much, yeah. And way above the water. Continuity. So I, I love the fact that it kept it 100, man. You know, um, I think the... Um, the, the way they kept Ultraman mystery, mystery, uh, mysterious. Yeah. I thought that was cool, but it hurts as someone who wants to see. You know what I'm saying? I think it's great that um, we understand the longevity of this stuff and why yeah. it's still around. Yeah, yeah. There's okay. there's still a, a hunger for it. There's still popularity for it. And uh, new stories, new monsters and stuff, uh, new expansive uh, lore. It's talking about comic books, uh, toys, I would assume. You know what I'm saying? And video games. Why is that not a thing right now? Like, we need more of that kind of, these kind of things in the, over on this side of the world. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they're doing it in Japan. Yeah. But uh, it's larger than life, man. Uh, how come these characters don't have fighting games? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> side scroll or beat em ups. You know what I'm saying? The, the ideas are there. But uh, the hunger is uh, strong, man. And, and people are still invested into it from what I've been seeing and yeah. what I've grasped, you know, from reactions and stuff like that. People begged us to do the compilations to watch and stuff like that. We enjoy it. So it's cool to see what the other side of the spectrum, how they feel about it, you know, overseas and things like that and what they're creating over there and what inspires us to bring it to America and what we do with it. You know yeah, what I mean? So yeah, it's, yeah. it's crazy, man. Uh, I'm all about the creativity and uh, it's fun at the end of the day. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm a big kid and, you know, I soak these things up, man. I, I don't get tired of it. Yeah, yeah. Same here, man. You know, yeah. uh, you know, you know, we watch these things super late. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and better late than never. And you know, the crazy thing is, it keeps us, it keeps the energy up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you know, a lot of people don't know that. Like we collaborate late at night, like because yeah. we have to work. So being True. able to watch these and go through them, and and being able to keep that energy up, one hundred, lets you know how how good and how cool the programming is, even in introduction with the music, and, it, oh, and yeah. how how it it grabs and gravity and pulls us pulls us in to really enjoy it that's why i really like once i was i think i was like i'm gonna say 10 introductions in i was already sold i was like yo let me watch the show right i'm ready to watch it officially and, you know what i mean and and that's what it does man it, it has its, it has its powers man i think these uh these shows are, are mythical i think oh, they man. i think they got abilities man you, you know these storylines go and go you know when you over on the western side of the world where we're at you know what i'm saying um you know you know, cats, you know, they don't respect the idea, but I think they're afraid of it. You know what I'm saying? That could be a lot of I it, too. I think they're afraid of it it's, because this stuff shouldn't is Shouldn't be, though. For something to be out in 1966 yeah. and still going and still looking the same. You got to think about that. Cheddar yeah. to the max. Yeah. Mozzarella, you like. Yeah. I like yeah. cheddar cheese. Yeah. And this is what that was, man. I, we sitting there watching him tag up oh, a yeah. man in a suit. <laughs> It's great. It, it's fun. I like, loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Nah, it just opens the door. Uh, it, I want to actually like find some other channels that really specialize in this because we, we get a lot of Marvel, DC, and anime stuff. But I want to see those channels that's really into this kaiju and tokusatsu and like get that, that history breakdown because uh, I'm really into it. And it's, it's stuff I'm seeking and stuff I'm looking for and stuff I'm trying to purchase. So I just want that, that breakdown. And uh, it's, it's dope, man. I'm wondering if there are games out there. It probably is. Those channels probably know about it, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what they really specialize in. And that's uh, cool, man. Just uh, going down that uh, rabbit hole and finding more information. That's what I do. Yeah, man. I already know, like, one of the things for me is, like, like you guys know, I, I've been dipping my toe in a lot of the Sentai. Uh, very, you know, I'm a Power Ranger fan. I'm not knocking Kamen Rider. I'm not knocking Ultraman, Metal Hero. No, I'm not. But I'm a Sentai guy. I like that. That. That's yeah. what I love about it. Yeah, they, they, were like, they were like, yo, you like this, you like this, like, but I think you're going to love this. Like, I, I I like Sentai. Yeah. That's just my thing, right? You've been on that, like, so, heavily. So, it's cool to know that, you know, I'm able to pick something out of this era, this this generation, g generational thing, and really and love it and enjoy it, and actually compare it. Like, I can't wait to have conversations and debates with people. Oh yeah, including you, like nah, man. Ultra man getting served up, bro. How nah, you gonna bro. say that? Nah, he had that ultra. Common ultra... writer came in and bro, like yeah. you, you, 
He's an alien first. But man, but depending on what you follow, bro. And you know the crazy thing—it's like roots, but Ultraman. That's gonna be the. That's going to be <laughs> the next generation. The conversations, bro. Yeah. Like you, I like to debate. I yeah. like to have discussions. And you know, I think we've hit our peak with Batman and Superman. You know what I'm saying? I think lying. we've hit that yeah. peak, bro. Yeah. Like we're we're at a level where it's like, yo, it's time to it's time to argue about some other stuff. We on international content now. Like 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 Ronan sat here, right? And you guys, the subscribers that've been here for a while, you guys know I dipped into Naruto. And and I'm and I'm up there. I'm up. There. I haven't finished watching the show yet. I I am in the Great War still. I haven't really went back to it because I wanted to dab, dab in other stuff right now because I wanted to get the true feel of Naruto. Okay. Like I actually watch all the episodes. I actually go through seasons and take breaks. And when they come back on, I I really invest my time in a show like that because I respect the fans that much that y'all went on the grind and watched those shows like that. So. Who am I, somebody to come in new and then just binge watch it? Oh, I, I, I'm a Naruto fan. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. going to do it right. So, to, to let that be said, C. Smith is one of those who watch the stuff all the way through. So, I'll be arguing with C. Smith and debating with him about certain characters, particular characters. In. And we be going in. And I just love the fact that I, now I'm part of that conversation. I witnessed it. And so I'm ready. It was and, tight. And I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for the, the, the Ultraman stuff. I, I, I want to go to the old heads. The old heads. Now. You guys will know out there, the guys that are here for the Ultraman, there was another character. He wasn't Ultraman, but it was very similar. He had like a like a like a uh, like a huge type of helmet on his head. I don't remember his name, but I remember my boy Ernie. He's an older cat. He was okay. talking about he used to watch him. I don't remember his name. Oh, cool. He said he used to watch him, and I remember watching it, but I don't remember the name. But I know you guys will know in the comment section. He was it was another type of Ultraman. Okay. He wasn't Ultraman though. It was another another form of it, like another like a I don't want to say a knockoff version, but another version of a show, of a show. Got it. Got it. So you guys would know inspiration. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys would know what it's I'm funny talking about. Funny you brought up uh, Naruto though. So I, I've been doing a little investigating. Uh, shout out to my coworker that put me up on this game. Uh, so it's a manga from uh, Shonen Jump, and it's called Sakamoto Days, and it is an anime John Wick story mm. about a, a retired assassin who's trying to get out of the game, and uh, he made an oath to his wife uh, to not kill anymore. So a uh, contract's been put out on him. So he has to keep that promise to his wife and kill these people subtly, secretly, while managing a restaurant at the same time. Dang, sound like Gustavo from Breaking yeah. Bad. And it's uh, other uh, it's other uh, people that's part of his team, too. You know, they live, like, regular, like, quiet lifestyles and stuff. Some are in school. So, like, it's pretty crazy. It's called Sakamoto Days, and it's part of the Shonen Jump universe. There's mangas, and I've been hearing this. Uh, people want to see it adapt into an anime. I'm surprised it hasn't. But I've seen uh, some stories uh, here and there, and uh, it's pretty dope, though. So nice, shout nice. out to the, the homie for putting me up on that. Hey, I'm, I'm with it. So I'm trying to hunt that down, too. We might get an anime adaptation due to the popularity of the manga. I'm down. Shonen Jump is hot right now. I'm down. Yeah. yeah. Probably read the manga first, and then ooh, yeah. we. Sakamoto Day. So of the monster. If you guys aren't familiar with it, check that out. That'd be the first for me, to read a manga first, and then watch it become an anime. Then I'll be like, no, no, no. Yeah. And this issue. Oh, yeah. See, I, I like being informative. And then there was another one, too. Uh, shout out to Funimation. It's called I Am a Hero. Comic book artist. Uh, his career gets boosted during the zombie apocalypse, and that's what inspires him to tell his story, though. Nice. So he's an artist trying to survive the apocalypse. It's called I Am a Hero. I'm there. Yeah. I, and they I, made they did a movie on it, too. It's live action. It's on Funimation. Okay. Yeah, really good. Okay. Yeah. Well, y'all heard it here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But uh, Ultraman uh, is a okay with me. I roll with Ultraman. Ultraman is cool, man. I love the whole don't break, what don't break, what don't fix what's not broken. Yeah. I love that. I love the fact that we got so much off of that. That idea, of transformation, fighting monsters, crime, Everything. evil, coming from Ultraman, 1966 to Common Rider to Sentai to Metal Heroes, and the list goes on. Man. At the same time, you know, you still get the American stories of Superman, Batman, things like that, and seeing that all that was came together yeah you know godzilla king kong all this stuff from 1900s and up it's just amazing how we grew as humans we were able to make epic content as humans yeah and it still goes on and our family's able to really hold on to that man you know that makes it very beautiful that's a lot of content but i'm i love Hell it yeah. i like being spoiled the entertainment but guess what yo it's not about us it's about the seven <laughs> post your comments down below let us know what y'all thought about all the Ultraman from 1966 to 2023. Are you guys down for this or not? And if you are, 
what was your favorite Ultraman series? Put in the comments down below and tell us why. Oh. I love those conversations. Like, yo, I like this, this, and this. Those are dope. Especially it's about to go down. You, especially when you, I'll be sitting there chilling. I'll be reading comments. I'll be like, yo, that's what's up. Respect, respect, respect. And if you guys have any information on the collectibles and where we can find the actual DVDs and all the stuff like that, yes. Ronan was looking for, put in the comments down below. Give us a link. Let us know what's up. Don't say, Please. Don't, don't say, let it, I know where it's at, and that's it. Nah, yeah. nah, put a link down below. You know what I mean? So we can find these things. And then anybody else Social in the media. comment, yeah, yeah, anybody else in it's the comment up. section that's looking for it, they'll be able to click your uh your um link and actually purchase that. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and press the subscribe button. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share it. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm J3. We're on the show, guys. Woo! The Ultra Assassin. Road to 100,000 subscribers, y'all.